Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Bob Wallace. Thank you to everyone that came tonight, and thank you to everyone who made this night possible. I had my introduction to football at Cassidy High School in the ninth grade. I think that was 1949. <clears throat> the first day that Christmas or that equipment was handed out, I was so excited to see the shiny new helmets. Could hardly wait to get one. They just come up with the new Rydell plastic helmet, and they're a lot better than the leather ones. <laughs> By the time it came to me, I received a leather one that was folded up nice and flat and would fit in my back pocket. <laughs> a freshman with the name of Wallace was not first in the line for equipment. And so it was that from one small town, Cassidy, I came to another one. When I first came to Hemlock, the field was a place of sandbirds, and the players said they would just as soon do our warm-ups in the parking lot, so they didn't have to get on the ground to suffer the sandbirds. It, it went on to that from a field where a visiting coach, he was from uh, Marlette, and uh, he came to us after the game, or after the scrimmage. And he said, your field has better turf than they have at the Rose Bowl. I was at the Rose Bowl last year, and your turf is a lot better. So that says a lot, that says a lot for Hemlock. We went from wooden bleachers that were placed on cement blocks to the new, cla the new class new ones of today. Anybody gets a chance, stop and see the new bleachers at the Hemlock High School football field. We went from wooden bleachers that were placed on cement blocks to first class new ones of today. Our first press box was attached halfway up a light pole where two people could get inside. And you had to climb up a ladder to get in and hang on to the post. And I had trouble with it. I had, do not like heights. And we got rid of it when I talked to someone and going up on the roof to take better film. I said, why not? We could get higher. We could do much better with the filming. Wouldn't you know, the night we had a big wind, and at halftime, he came down, told me he didn't care what we did, but he was not going back up on top of the press <laughs> seems that even though he sat with his back against his light pole for support, when the wind blew, he could look straight down and see the headline or the sidelines. When the wind blew was a little different when he was taking pictures of the sky. <laughs> the community generously saw that the new press box was constructed. We still have that today. A wise man said, find out what you love to do and find a way to get paid for it. <laughs> I was able to spend my entire coaching and teaching career at Hemlock. It was a wonderful community. we could raise our family in. Both of our daughters graduated from Hemlock High School. Other two attorneys, their opportunities came up. 
we cho chose to make Hemlock our home for almost 20 years, or 50 years, excuse me. With all due respect to Robert Frost, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, and I took the one least traveled by, and that has made all the difference. My road led to, Hel led to Hemlock, and there I found my field of dreams. Thank you.